So we were just sitting here a second ago and you were talking about um, this target list being put out by uh, trolls. Right. So originally what happened is there's a, a, like a Google map plotted with um, area locations so that the protesters that are planning actions and direct actions know exactly what they're near and they can find certain things like, say, corporations that support the police force or, or donors for politicians that have not taken a stance on this. Mm -hmm. um, and the trolls use that map to create a target list. And they said it was from protesters, but it's not a target list by any means. So the news is spinning this as the protesters are targeting things like hospitals and like children's museums and things like that. When in all actuality, they're just plotted on the map so that we can work around them. And the trolls have made a list that is being passed out to local businesses and schools and things by law enforcement to let them know that they're in some type of non-existent danger. So, as somebody in the movement, how do you feel about this, and what what do we what do you do about it? it it's frustrating because you can't you can't control how people perceive things, especially when they don't meet your intention. Mm. Um, however, history is the best indicator of future behaviors, so that should let everyone know that they're not in any danger from mm. protesters. If we are protesting, it is because you have taken the wrong side of this issue. And we want people to know that you are not in support of justice and humanity. And what um, the groups that you work with, like what are people doing to combat this? Well, I haven't really heard anything in terms of combating it other than with action. Like just show them yeah. we're not targeting you. We're not here to hurt you. We've not attacked anyone. We've not hurt any any person for any reason mm -hmm. through all of this, even if they are on what we would call the wrong side of the issue. It's, we want to bring attention to everyone else that you don't stand with us. Mm -hmm. And um, just curious, like media wise, like do you guys have media? Do you see, envision a media of the future that? We actually have, like we do a protesters newsletter daily from our newsletter team, mm -hmm. Ned and DeRay, a lot of people know about them. Um, from Twitter, but we also use social media to tell our story, and that's how we got the attention in the first place. No one would ever have known that any of this was happening in the middle of America if it wasn't for us posting our pictures and our videos on the internet to show them the real story. Because if you listen to what mainstream media is telling you, and if you listen to what your local media is telling you, you'd be scared out of your mind. Like, you'd be scared as hell. I would if I was just listening to them, but then you get here and or you see it for yourself and you're like, that doesn't, it doesn't correlate. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, I was telling you, like, before I came here, it felt like you guys were on the verge of, like, full-scale war. Like, exactly. In the beginning. Like, they made it sound like we were, like, waging war against the state, <laughs> when in all actuality, the state has waged war against the citizens. Yeah, right. yeah the, to my knowledge, the only people who have died have been victims of police exactly. violence. Exactly. Police violence. Yeah. And I tell people that all the time. The only violence that I have seen has come from the police. I've never seen tear gas a day in my life. But that... August the, I believe it was August the 18th, tear gas came flying in my face. Wow. In the middle of America, in the middle of West Florida, a home that I've had for 27 years of my life. I've never seen anything like it. So I assume you dodged the... Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Because <laughs> you don't have like a dent from the tear indeed. gas canister. Yeah, yeah. Um... In terms of media, like, what is, do you know any, is there a strategy amongst people in the movement for that, or? Well, there is, well, I wouldn't necessarily call it a strategy as much as just giving our, our voice credit. Like, we yeah. just want people that are going to tell the story accurately and as it is. And people say that, oh, you guys are against media, you guys don't like the media. That's not the case. We don't like liars. So if you're going to tell a story, tell the truth. And if we find that you're not telling our story truthfully, we won't allow you to tell it anymore. As people can see, CNN was not welcome in certain circumstances because they had, and historically, not given accurate portrayals of what we are standing for. 
and what we're about. And so when we do find that, we are resistant to it. Because who wants to be lied on? Who wants to be casted in a negative light for any reason? When all you want is justice and humanity, like the recognition of our humanity. Like everyone else and, and everyone in this movement given, deserve. Yeah. Human rights that people just have by being born. So yeah, it's not anything spectacular that we're asking for at this point. It's not anything like ridiculous. We're not asking for any more than anyone else. Like we just want our fair share. Is there a place where like sympathetic journalists like myself could go to a movement space or talk to a liaison and like like where would I post my video? Where would I let people know from Twitter the movement? Is like a huge asset to us okay. at this point. Um, Facebook, maybe not as much because of the demographic, but it now holds. Twitter is more of a progressive demographic in most cases. Mm -hmm. Now there are a lot of people that are naysayers and don't get it, but when they're exposed to it, they can't help but get it because it's it's reality. It's the truth. It's right. Like people, once they understand it, they can't do anything but accept it because it's not anything outrageous. Um, in terms of where you guys can go trying to get in, though, like I wouldn't say that we're completely standoffish from media. Is we know that you have a history of reporting things that are accurate and truthful. You have a space with us as well. Like we, we use a lot of live streamers in this because they can only tell what's happening in front of them. Um, there are some great journalists that I would be happy to interview to or that other people in, in this movement have been able to talk to and count on to tell an accurate story. They exist, they are far and few between, but they are here and they exist and they stand with us because they get it. Or corporations or the media, the media space they, they want people to hear. Like, you know. and when it comes to journalistic integrity, I feel yeah. like mainstream media has like lost out on that piece oh, yeah. in in search of profits because that's what it's about. It's about bottom line, yeah. and they can say whatever they want to say to be able to sell something, mm -hmm. tell a story. So if you're telling the truth, then people will stand with you because right. we are on the right side of history. We are on the right side of justice. We are on the right side of humanity. They preach it's just an incident Happened in the same hood by coincidence Another homeless kid lost his life Another cop got bought for the same old price They justify the police state When they illustrate the prayers and crime rate So what do you do? What do you do? It's another big fuck you from the government They put you in another predicament It's time for you to stand up and say You will no longer tolerate this fucked up violent police state